Welcome back for another VeChain price prediction analysis and in this video I will be sharing my next price targets here on the VeChain chart and also give you reasons why VeChain can see a break above the $0.02 mark in the next coming hours or maybe days and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording vchain is holding above the 20 day ma here on the four hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up to the next key area of resistance at around the 0.02 dollar mark and the moment we see a break above that we can watch out for a successful retest before we can continue gearing up and continue unlocking higher prices vchain has also continued to obey the edu 12 structures where you can see that after seeing our 10th of july lows at around the 0.01797 dollar mark we picked in the formation of this wave one then we saw a breakdown move in the formation of this wave two into the minimum retracement areas for the second wave highlighted on the charts using this yellow target area which is an area that i came up with using the fibonacci connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one giving me a minimum retracement area between the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.78 which is a target area that we have almost fully maximized and there are high chances that we have a low in place for the second wave and soon VeChain can see a reaction of that target area and start gearing up impulsively in the formation of that wave 3 which is what we expect after seeing a breakdown move in the formation of this wave 2 and giving you minimum target areas for the third wave by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave i get a minimum target area for the third wave at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.02284 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect that third wave to the upper side to do and in case further breakdown continues here on the vchain chart then i'm expecting this yellow target area to continue holding and as long as we continue holding within it we can expect our massive pump in the formation of this wave 3 to the upper side. VeChain has also continued to obey the edu 12 structures on the long term. And you can see that after seeing our bre massive breakdown on the 10th of June, giving us new bear market lows at around the $0.01323 mark, we started a very nice recovery to the upside where we first picked in this wave 1, then a wave 2, a wave 3, a wave 4 and then the wave 5 completing the formation of these larger edu 12 count one then afterwards we started a breakdown move in the formation of a larger edu 12 count two into the minimum retracement area highlighted on the charts using these red target area and you can see that we didn't quite fully maximize the target area though we saw a very nice reaction of the target area and started gearing up impulsively in the formation of this wave 3 and that's the reason as to why you can see that i have this micro edu 12 count within the formation of that wave 3 because of the impulsiveness in the formation of that larger edu 12 count 3 and as long as you continue obeying this edu 12 structure in white then we can expect higher prices but in case we see further breakdown on the charts and maybe at some point vchain loses our yellow target area continue seeing lower prices and get back into this red target area then that will be suggesting that vchain has not yet seen the low for the second wave and we and whatever we have on the charts is still a corrective structure where we can term this as an abc corrective structure and expect one more new low in the formation of that wave two before we can start gearing up impulsively in the formation of that wave 3 so that is what i'm keeping my eyes on here on the vchain chart on the short term and also on the long term and as long as you continue holding within our yellow target area i'm still bullish here on the vchain chart expecting a break above the 0.02 dollar mark in the next coming hours or maybe days 
Also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI, we are trading at around the 42 mark. Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bullish cross, fully supporting higher prices. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I will be keeping you updated.